Hi everyone, if you're new to my channel, my name is Donna from Face Paints For You and I'm back today to show you and teach you how to do a unicorn. So if you struggle with unicorns or you would like to see how I do this, please keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. I load my low Cornell round brush number five with my white diamond FX and I start off by doing a circle. The bigger the unicorn, the bigger the circle. So if you want a smaller one, you would do a small circle. And I start off by doing it a bit like a watch. 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. And at 1 o'clock, I do a slanted small line coming in. And from the top of that line, I do a small curved line coming into the circle and fill that in. Then between... 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock I do a small teardrop coming out from the circle and finishing it in a point. Don't forget to do this slightly slanted. Then between 10 o'clock and 8 o'clock I do a smaller circle with half of the circle on the inside and the other half on the outside. And now to do the neck, the best way for me to show you how to do this is by starting at the top of the head and going down into an S shape. Then I grab my small filbert brush from the face painting shop and I load it up with a split cake with a neon pink and purple. And of course you can use any colour you want but I always like to put the lighter colour on the outer edges so it gives the hair a bit of a highlight. And as you can see, I start by doing two small curved teardrops and then for the last one, I just continue it round and curl it. Then I pull two wavy lines coming out from the neck and that gives it the illusion that the hair is coming from behind the unicorn. Then to give the unicorn a bit of a fringe, all I do is fill in the area between the ear and the horn and then do a teardrop. Always remembering to keep the lighter colour at the top. Then I grab my low Cornell round brush number two and I load it up with black diamond effects. And I start off by doing a tiny, tiny little teardrop or little line inside the ear and another one that curves round. And that's to give the illusion of the inside of the ear. So it's like the ear is turned outwards. Then I outline the ear and after that, I start outlining the rest of the design. By the way, there are loads of different ways that I actually do my unicorns, and especially the hair. But I thought this is one of my simplest unicorns and one of my quickest that I usually do on the job. So this is why I thought to show you this design. Now this unicorn of course can be done in loads of different places so a lot of times I would either do it on the cheek and have maybe a rainbow coming out of the horn or um, I would do some maybe flowers around it or some uh, starbursts and dots and you know there's many different ways that you can then dress the unicorn up but I just thought as a lot of people having difficulties actually doing the unicorn I just thought I would show you one of my simplest ways And now that I'm about to outline the nose area, as I'm not really sure how to explain it to you properly, watch really carefully how I do it, as I don't just do a rounded nose. Now, this is the part where I put the mouth, or the smiley face, let's say. But of course, if you don't want to put that in, all you need to do is just continue outlining it. And it still looks really pretty. And don't forget to put the other nostril, as I think it looks so much better when you do this. 
And I do apologise, by accident I did do it slightly bigger than I wanted to. So if you can, just do it a little bit smaller. Now this is where I do the eye of the unicorn. And if you find it difficult doing this, what I used to do right at the start was just a small curved line with some eyelashes and I would do it as if the eye was closed and it still looks really pretty but if not I'm sure if you practice you will be able to do it. Then as you can see I grab my zero round brush from the face painting shop and I do two small dots inside the eye, one slightly smaller and then I do some highlights on the hair. Then usually when I finish the unicorn, to make it more magical, I always put a few starbursts and a few dots around the design. And that is how I do my simple on the job unicorn. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I really hope it's helped you out. If it has, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And please, 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 I can't stress this enough, don't forget to comment below and let me know if you're struggling with anything or if you need any help with anything or if there's maybe a design or a video that you'd like me to do. Please let me know in the comments below as I would love to help you out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why not subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of all future videos. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it and hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.